previously. There must be something. Oh, I'll take the stone. It's shiny. <laughs> Mr. Midnight is literally the best. Stick that in there. Stick that on there. And we got the purse. Only because I'm the best. <laughs> I literally just said that. Let's continue. <laughs> we have beautiful hair. You fluffy kitty. Ah, do you like that? Here we are. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great instant and niece you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The daughter is incredible, King Sir. Bless her. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. The Patronus will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard? Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. Ha ha! You haven't even got outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The great wizard lives in the great mountain, Cotrum. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great is Thursday day and good luck finding the great wizard. There's the doctor. Bye. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature kitty? That's Patronus. He fixed me. Yes, certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Yay. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake. Next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. We have to find the wizard. Oh, look at our hand now. It's a freaking tree hand. So I guess we go... Where are you going? You want to go that way? Okay, let's go this way then. But we don't have to, Mr. Midnight. I only did it because you said. Okie dokie. Let us go this way. There's a bug with the legs. Nice. Oh, no, no. You can't get in. It's closed. Oh, closed? I didn't know. It was behind this passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Why is it closed? Come back in fall or winter, then it'll be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see pol That's me. He gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. Hee <laughs> hee, yes. Why is the library closed, sir? Well, it's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Oh, so you don't learn anything while you're in summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you'd like to ask many questions. Well, thank you for that. Let's go this way. No, Mr. Midnight. We'll go that way afterwards. Oh, we can't read. Hello, sir. There's so much talking in this one. Are you a guard? Yes. Oh, I see. Do you know where the mountain is? Yes. <laughs> Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Can you say no at all? Or tell me, please. Uh, the mountain is only in winter time. What are you talking about? Winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go? How? Is this going to be like Zelda seasons? We'll get a freaking thingy and they'll change the season. Ah, sorry, I'm no good at explaining things. Go down the stairs, then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. Alright, thank you, sir. We go this way, down the stairs. And then he said right, didn't he? Oh, we can't read. I keep forgetting that we can't read. But we can look at this map. That's the castle. A mountain, so that's the mountain. That's Patronatus' home. Very big tree. Boat. An island. Okay. Let's look at these crystals. I wonder what kind of stones these are. So I guess we go this way. This is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? Uh, uh this way? Oh! Hello! Good day, living creature. All good? Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? 
smelling this flower beautiful creation mmm are you waiting for somebody I'm I'm waiting for the lemons to grow do you like lemons all right and lemonade and lemon cake but south for my taste lemonade is yummy lemonade is what I would do with the lemons for the customers at the bar you know and we put some other stuff inside too so we can fly <laughs> all these people are on drugs fly wow I'd like to try that it sounds great yeah this is why I wait you can't rush it hey the bar opens in full and it's very awesome dancer will be formed. you should come and hang out maybe I will it sounds fun thank you so we need to remember all this business so the library opens in fall and winter the mountain can only we can only get to if it's winter the bar is only in fall so only in autumn I wonder what this is. And we can't read it, so we don't know. It shows a mountain. It must be the mountain. But we don't want to go there yet. What is this? Oh, wow. What are you? You look like fairies. The purest of feelings. The light of all material. We are the locusts. Oh, you're very shiny. And you make me feel so happy. Luke, creature, one of the young locusts will receive the shield. Ah. Ah. They're doing some awesome dancing. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Are you going now? Huh? Where are you going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir or miss? Hmm. Can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why is that big monster haunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense, I'd say. We have so many things going around our brains. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. Oh, Franny, don't be sad. But... See? Repeating again. Dear, don't be sad. We have to keep going. Let's look at this tree and play with some gears. Yes, Kitty, you're right. Oh! Why do we need to do this? I think we should just leave that for now before I mess it up forever. Oh, there's a... Hey, they just randomly walk around. Let me just see where this person goes. Are you going back over here? No. Oh. Take that as a no, then. Shall we go this way? Oh! Ha! Huh, I'd like to borrow that boat. There isn't anything around here yet. So I bet we have to come back in another season. Can't you mess with this? Sounds like something broke. Did we break it? Oops, I think we broke it. So we came down here. Let's go this way. Wow! Ooh, those muscles. What a tiny shop and it smells really funny. What's he selling? Hello! Ah, who is there? Who? Who are you? Can't you see me? Me, Fran! Ah, oh, now I see you a little. You have four eyes. Wow. What? Four eyes? I don't have... Ah, uh, what are you selling? Only the best globus of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? <laughs> That's the grossest question anyone can ask. It's... It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They're not coconuts. It's poo. He's collected poo and he's selling poo. Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Hee <laughs> hee. I have to get going now. Good luck with the blowbus. Bye. <laughs> I bet we need to buy some later on. I hope so anyway. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Pooter. That's what we're calling him. Not Pruter. We're calling him Pooter. And I'm moulding this piece of iron. Ah, oh, for what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. We have to go to the clockmaker. 
Ah, I see. So you can do all kinds of metallic stuff. Sure, if you have some ideas, we can talk about them and put down. I do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. Lovely. What a, a gent. Oh, there's the clockmaker. Let's talk to the other people first, though. Hello, miss. I think you have beautiful fruits. That sounds rude. Probably she just talks to all these people and just tells them all that she's a human. I mean, they could eat her or something. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read. I can't read. Um, what is a nurse's language called? Don't you know? It's called a Are you a tourist? Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, I am a tourist. My name's Fran. I've never seen a tourist before. I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome. I hope you have fun here. Could you not have just read us a few headlines? Okay, so we have a boat maker. We have something. A sloggy snail. Hello. Good day, young one. What are you doing? It's got a massive bag of gold there. The war's about to start. I can't see meaning in the meaningless. Huh? What do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with a golden coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? This game is about to begin. You are the Calamus. I am the Volocus. Black and white are shadows and light. It's a board game? Yes, a board game. That's a merciless adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you win her. What do you say? Yes, sure. What are the rules? First, to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal or vertical line wins. So gonna lose. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Sure, it sounds like a game of tic-tac-toe, which I have not played for a long time. Well, why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold, and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Oh no, I need to get there. <laughs> no one's won. So it's not some crisis, actually. I didn't know this was called tic-tac-toe. I thought that one was called tic-tac-toe when you throw the ball and then you have to pick up the things. Okay, there's a way of doing this so you um, win. <gasps> We've won! Haha! <laughs> cool, we got a coin. <laughs> Very well done, little creature. You're a master. I don't think so. <laughs> I only got two pieces. Hello, little root. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. You're cute too. Everyone should talk like that to each other. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm Fran. And you? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma and I want to sing all day long. Hee <laughs> hee, what's your favourite song? My favourite song goes like this. One and one or two, one and two or three, two and three or five, and three and five or eight. I don't remember any more than that. I learned that at school, it's fun. Ah, oh, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. Right, I think we should just go talk to the wait, boat man, the clock man. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. Oh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Hmm, and do you know where the mountain Kotrum is? The mountain Kotrum only exists in winter time. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. But I can't wait for winter. The king said the wizard we would be in the mountain Kotrum. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. Ah, layered reality, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock, change the season. Just change it. Where's the clock? Ah, we already saw this clock and we broke it. We'll go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. I already saw that clock and it was broken. A broken clock? It's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing, otherwise my life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big golden 
coin per clock. Well, here's a golden coin. Ah, oh, yes. But you have to offer me the job first, all right? Do it and be polite. <laughs> oh, sir clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold and in the name of uh, time, I beg of you, accept my offer. Oh, of course, that was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. I'm an actress. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. Okay, sir. Oh, we're literally going now. It was this way. Oh, there he is. Hmm, you're right. The clock is broken. But you can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Oh. Oh, winter did not look so good. Hmm, yes. Hmm, oh there. What is it? Seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral breaking a defenseless clock. Ow! Oh. Why would somebody break it? Winter, mountain, the reasons. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. The evil darkness. They work for Remor, the terrible black. And Kamalis are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me. Remor wants stones, but what I don't understand is... For what purpose? The stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Ah, there you go. Is Remora a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes. You know him? Yes, oh yes, we know him, alright. Yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know? Ah, a human, now I understand. I also need the stones. They're my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Aha, this is why you need to go to winter time and go to the mountain. Exactly. I have to talk to the great wizard. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here. It is like seasons. It's remote control for the clock. You'll be able to travel into all four seasons with just a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality. So be careful. I'll be careful, thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. Please call me Cogwind. What a name. Alright, Mr. Cogwing, I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so I think we should go to fall. And then go to the bar. 